What a great start to the day. Introducing Meta AI's new Llama 3.1 model. This is where they have introduced a new series of models under the 3.1 version of Llama, where their latest instruction tune model is available in 8 billion, 70 billion, and 405 billion parameters. This is completely open sourced and it's an AI model that you can fine tune, distill, and deploy anywhere. There are many key capabilities from tool usage where you can easily integrate multiple plugins and applications. You have the ability to have multilingual agents and this is where they can basically easily communicate and generate in multiple languages. You have complex reasoning capabilities. You have the ability to deploy the Llama 3.1 coding assistance that can basically easily help you code out a full stack application to debug and so much more. You have the ability to have it become your personal AI copilot. Now, the model evaluation is what makes me super happy for the AI community because this table over here is showcasing the performance of the fine tuned Llama 3.1 model on key benchmark evaluations all the way from coding to mathematics to complex reasoning. Now, a few pointers to note is that the 405 billion parameter model, which we see over here, is on par with the best closed source models, which is just insane to me. An open source model competing with open AI. The open and free weights as well as the code with the license that enables fine tuning, distillation into other models and deployment is something that you can access today and you can basically deploy it anywhere. We're going to be taking a look at this as well as the benchmarks further in detail, but this is just truly insane for the open source community. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at this intro video for the model, which is going to showcase more about the Llama 3.1 model. Today, we're excited to deliver on the long-awaited Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model that we previewed back in April. We're also updating the 8 and 70 billion models with new improved performance and capabilities. The 405 is hands down the largest and most capable open source model that's ever been released. It lands improvements in reasoning, tool use, multilinguality, a larger context window, and much more. And the latest benchmark numbers that we're releasing today exceed what we previewed back in April. So I encourage you to read up on the details that we've shared in our newly published research paper. Alongside the 405B model, we're releasing an updated collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned 8B and 70B models to support use cases ranging from enthusiasts and startups to enterprises and research labs. Like the 405B, these new 8 and 70B models offer impressive performance for their size, along with notable new capabilities. Following feedback we heard loud and clear from the community, we've expanded the context window of all of these models to 128K tokens. This enables the model to work with larger code bases or more detailed reference materials. These models have been trained to generate tool calls for a few specific functions, like search, code execution, and mathematical reasoning. Additionally, they support zero-shot tool usage. Improved reasoning enables better decision-making and problem-solving. Updates to our system level approach make it easier for developers to balance helpfulness with the need for safety. We have been working closely with partners on this release, and we're excited to share that in addition to running the model locally, you'll now be able to deploy Llama 3.1 across partners like AWS, Databricks, NVIDIA, and Grok. And it's all going live today. At Meta, we believe in the power of open source. And with today's release, we're furthering our commitment to the community. Our new models are being shared under an updated license that allows developers to use the outputs from Llama to improve other models. This includes outputs from 405B. We expect synthetic data generation and distillation to be a popular use case that enables new possibilities for creating highly capable smaller models and helping to advance AI research. Starting today, we're rolling out Llama 3.1 to Meta AI users, and we're excited to bring many of the new capabilities that Angela outlined to users across Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. With the release of 3.1, we're also taking the next steps towards open source AI becoming the industry standard, continuing in our commitment to a future where greater access to AI models can help ecosystems thrive and solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what the developer community will build with Llama. 
Meta AI has definitely woken up and released a beast and it's something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Now before we get started, I would like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers, we have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So let's just get straight into it and showcase how you can actually download this. Well, first things first, you can download the models because all the weights are completely for free, meaning that you just need to request access for the Llama models. You do that by filling out this form over here and you can select the model that you want to work with. In this case, you can select the latest Llama 3.1 model from the 405 billion parameter model all, all the way down to the 8 and the 70 billion. So you can easily select the model that you want to do and then you can click next and submit the form. But say if you want to deploy this 405 model on the cloud, how can you actually do that? Well, they actually have different types of guides which will showcase how you can utilize meta ai's partners to deploy this huge model because let's be realistic no one's going to be able to run this 405 billion parameter model on their local computer this is where you would want to utilize it on the cloud and you can do so with aws azure you have databricks you have dell google cloud grok nvidia you have ibm you have scale ai snowflake these are all different guides that you can access and i'll leave a link to this in the description because this way you can learn how to deploy it on the cloud and get started with it now another way you can access this model currently is trying out this model by going on hugging chat this is where you can try out this model and you can basically interact with it you can select the model that you want to work with you can click on this gear button over here and you can change it to the 405 instruct model or the 70 billion parameter model as well as the 8 billion parameter model now, in regards to the performance of the Llama 3.1 model, it is far more superior than the original Llama 3 model from April. You can see that in terms of the comparison, it is absolutely destroying its previous model, obviously, but you can see that it does an amazing job in terms of the performance. And in terms of the benchmarks in comparison to GPT 3.5 Turbo, as well as the GPT 4 Omni model, we can see that it is outpacing the turbo model and it's basically on par with gpt4 omni which is just insane now if you are to compare it with claude 3.5 sonnet in many cases obviously the sonnet model is outpacing it but in other cases it is doing really really good in terms of long context tool usage and reasoning as well as in mathematics this is the capability of the llama 3.1 model it's obviously not the best in terms of coding yet, but it's a great step forward in terms of an open source coding model being on par with closed source models. Now they released a 92 page research paper, which I definitely recommend that you read through. It goes through the model training all the way to the fine tuning as well as the data sets. So if you're interested in learning a lot more about this model and its capabilities, I definitely recommend that you read through this. I plan on making another video which is going to test the evaluation as well as another video which will showcase how you can download this model locally. So with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. You get to understand what this new model is capable of doing. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, which is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. I actually posted about the Llama 3 announcement way way before the release so if you're interested you should definitely follow so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news and lastly subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous video so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas